All right, so actually, <laughs> I'm literally just filming this after I finished filming episode one over there. Um, I was I was over here. I'm looking at how I want to. I'm thinking about how I want to do this base over here. How I want to finish this area because this area needs to transition into an area that coexists with the uh, the city that's kind of in the water area. So these are what you know inspired the whole Ninjago City project to begin with. So I want to have like a part of the city in this style of building. And I want that to be like kind of all of this area here. I don't I don't want to do too much because um uh use a lot of parts and especially all these uh water pieces or the the translucent tiles for the water. So I actually just came up with an idea how I want to transition because I thought I would kind of make it slope down before, but now I had another idea. I'm going to make it an angle so it goes from here all the way like down like over here somewhere. But it's going to be at an angle. So I'm going to use angle plates on top, and it comes down it this way. And then also, and I'll use hinge bricks, and I'll make the wall just like turn in this way. But since the uh, the wall will be at the same angle as the plates that is on that's on top, uh, the base area down here, I can use the same plates um, that I use on top to make it flush against the wall. And I'm thinking, let's go over here, start to look through my pieces. I'm thinking of either using a these types or these types. I'm not sure which 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 ones yet. I'm gonna do whatever I have more of, um, because I wanna I don't wanna make a too many brick link orders because I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need. I'm also not sure if it's gonna work either. But uh, I'm gonna test it first. But I think that's what I might do. Yeah, that's what happens. You know, you finish filming one thing and you're like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I'm not, without even thinking like, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so yeah, it happens. So I think. This episode 2 now will also consist of adding more of the base and the dragon. I think I also want to start doing some of the water. I want to actually start the docks because, especially now that I know how I'm going to do this base over here, I can start the docks. So, uh, yeah. This episode 2 is actually going to be pretty cool too. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was going to be boring or not, but now I know it's going to be good. So, you know, keep watching. It's going to be good. I promise you. Alright, so I made, uh, actually, a decent amount of progress. Um... I'm really, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was worried I wasn't going to have enough, and I didn't end up having enough of these. Oh, I mean, I didn't have end up having enough of these. And I was like, well, I guess I should go order something. I was like, wait, I can just use the ones that are like half the size, the, the three long ones instead of the six, just to finish up the bottom here. And it worked. I have enough. I was really worried I didn't. So I will fill all. all so all of this needs to be filled in, and then all the whole top area will be complete. And so, as you can see, I also used the dark gray versions of this piece to make it so when this is all filled in, it's all like this nice, just, it cuts off really nicely. So I thought that would be a really nice little detail to do there. Um, so I just got to finish, like, connecting it here. These are in sections still. They're going to connect a little weird because it needs to all line up a certain way. Because, like, some of these do overlap in some areas, but the only things overlapping are the, uh, actual angled plates, not any of the other plates, so I should be able to take them apart still. But uh, yeah, so I think the next part is going to be the wall here, and then maybe I can actually start the docks. I'm going to do a little bit of the base, uh, the bottom base. I'm not going to do a lot because, remember, like here, it's also like, water is also incorporated, so that's why I stopped going any further over there. And also, well, and also over there, I didn't want to go any further over there. So I have to figure out how I want to do building placement in the water first. So, um, it may take me a little bit of time. Not sure if I'm going to get to, when I'm going to get to that, but we'll, that, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll figure it out, you know? But I'm definitely going to do the stairway. Cause I definitely going to, I want to have docks here. I have a bunch of brown one by plates I want to use for the docks. So I want to definitely do that. So I'm going to probably start a little bit of the water. But then uh, I'm going to make this, I'm going to have a staircase coming down here. And also, like, a, just a smooth slope, so, like, um, say something comes off the boat, they can wheel it up the smooth area, not up the stairs, you know what I mean? Or maybe I'll do it this way, but I don't know, kind of like it coming this way, I like the idea of that better. But, uh, yeah, and, I'm all, and I also want to have a certain amount of distance between the wall and any buildings that I, I do over here. I want it to be, like, a nice passageway going all the way down there. And I also have to make a, I'm going to make this whole wall that goes all the way down there. Here, I'm going to make it one whole piece, 
so I can just, uh, when I take it apart, I can just slide it in there. I think that might be, or may, uh, may, maybe I'll do it in two sections, because maybe one whole thing might be too long, but we'll see. I'm going to connect it using hinge, hinge bricks. I thought I had some over here. Uh, I do, I do. I'm going to use these pieces to, uh, I'm going to use these pieces to, uh, attach the wall to the end over there and over here. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And it's just going to sit, um, sit on top. I, I've been putting a couple of tiles. You can see I'm going to, um, it's just going to sit on top of those. And, uh, it's not going to be connected by anything but these on the ends. It's just going to sit on top. So that's the plan so far. But, yeah, this looks pretty cool from a distance. It's just, it's this really kind of, it's a weird shaping, but it's also kind of nice. It's kind of, it's different, you know? You don't see something like that very often. Just at a whole angle. I think I can make it work and look pretty nice. Um, I definitely want to do like a fence going all the way down here. So I'm going to have to figure out how that connected at an angle. And, uh, but yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. All right, so I filled in the rest of this area for the most part. Still got a little bit more to fill in there. And here, but yeah, this is coming through. I just want to show you guys the stairs that I made on the slope. I might make this all smooth. I'm not. I'm not really feeling the uh, the cracks I did or cracks. You know, uh, I'm not really feeling it exactly. It's like looks a little um, doesn't really blend in as well as it does like on the stairs. So I might go back and I just might just make the rest of this two by two tiles. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna tile. I'm gonna do the sidewalk effect area like he uh, here too, like there. And I'll probably replace these with light gray to make a path for the curve over here. But uh, yeah, it's cool. I, I'm pretty happy with how the slope came out. It kind of tight fit, but it fits uh, well enough where it's not moving anywhere. It's a good angle. I didn't want to make it too steep because uh, you know, I want to make it realistic to the figures, I guess, or Kind of, you know, if, if, say, if you were an actual minifigure, would you be able to move things up and down this? So, that's kind of what I was thinking. But, uh, yeah, and the stair came out pretty nice. And, uh, so I'm going to do the sidewalk, uh, like sidewalk, sidewalk, like, tiling on this area, too. And also, this would be, like, where they have all sorts of container, shipping containers and packages here. I'm going to probably cut it off here. I'm going to extend this a little up here. It's like probably around to here. I'm going to make two docks over here. Maybe, maybe kind of longer. I'm going to get like kind of up to here a bit. And it should be like almost two base plates long. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm trying to go for right now. I think one of the next things I'm going to do is do the wall once I finish tile, uh, filling in this area. But yeah, it's coming together quite nicely so far. Alright, so the wall is in! I'm really happy with how this came out. I think this looks really cool. Uh, the whole wall, I actually built it, like, I didn't build it on here, I built it, like, off to the side. And when I picked it up, I actually measured it. I, I, I set it up, like, standing straight upwards. I was like, I wonder how tall this is. It's almost, it's just, like, an inch, if not less than an inch, shorter than me. <laughs> it is almost as tall as me. This thing is long. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and I'm like 5'10", I think, or 5 feet 10 inches. Um, so yeah, this thing is pretty big, and uh, I'm really happy with how this came out. And you know, I know I keep saying that, but this is, <laughs> this looks really good. This is really long wall. This just looks really cool. Look at that, that's, that's pretty cool, no? Pretty cool. And then you have it also on the end over there, too. If I can focus it there. You see the little holes on the bottom. Those are like storm drains that you have like here. And the actual set is just also over there. And that's where the water, there's going to be water over there. That's why it's there and not like anywhere else on the wall. Because there's actually going to be water there where the wall is. So, um, so there'll be like a reason to have, you know, drains there. But, uh, yeah. So I gotta fix, I gotta do this little section here. I gotta fix the uh, slope and add the wall in here. And then I can probably finish this, like, area up. Kind of 
figure out how I want to do that and maybe I'll just start the docks. Probably going to start the docks. But yeah, this is pretty sick. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's awesome. I used up a lot of my um, masonry bricks in light gray. I had a whole, like, one of those shoebox containers size uh, bins. I think I filled up, like, half of it with that. I went through all my texture pieces and I dug out all of them. So there's a lot in here. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. This is awesome. When you get some buildings in here, I'm probably going to put a fence on top of here too. And I got to figure out how to align that right. But uh, once you get some buildings in here, you have like this really cool pathway you can just stare down like that. That'll be sick. That's going to be cool. Oh yeah. Let's keep going. This is coming out awesome. Alright, so the walls behind, the, behind and in front of the stairs are finished. And base here is finished. And I started the docks. There we go. Yeah. It's pretty good. I used some of the old brown tiles I had in here too to give it like a nice, nice little coloring or wood coloring, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So I, I put trans blue tiles on top of these, like, um, like in the set. So it all looks nice. I got a whole bunch in the container down over there. Kind of see it. Right. That one right there. <laughs> I got a whole bunch in there. I'm probably going to have to order more, but, uh, we will cross that bridge when we get there. But, uh, yeah. The wall is connected and finished and looks awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You probably wonder, uh, I didn't say this in the last part, but, uh, I have these here and, like, the red ones there. I have these kind of spread out just to kind of hold things together because if I take this off, you'll probably see it comes like it there's like kind of cracks and it's because the table isn't all that even or it's not all entirely flat even though it's as flat as I really can get it because it's like a folding table with styrofoam and then vinyl flooring um, because it used to just be the table then the table started to cut all the weight of the pieces started to sink in over time uh, with the previous uh, versions of the city and other things I've done um, this big before. Not this big. It used to be two different cities, but then combined into one. But that's a story for the next day. <laughs> then um, someone in my LEGO group, uh, a LUG, LEGO users group, um, you got these all across the world. Like uh, groups for uh, people to get together and talk about LEGO. But uh, yeah, someone in my LUG um, did this with his city. Um, on a much uh, smaller scale, and so you put styrofoam in the vinyl flooring, so it, you get that flooring there, and it's nice, and it makes it everything even because the styrofoam just kind of sink, kind of sinks into the uneven parts. But uh, it's not perfect, but it's much better than what it would be. So I, uh, so I have these. So once, hopefully, once the weight of these pieces pushed down onto the table, I won't have to have these there anymore. The whole thing together. It's already starting to work a bit, but uh, yeah, it helps. But uh, yeah, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna put a pathway. I put a pathway here, so uh, you know the figures can walk there. But um, I think what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of continue this pattern of flooring or of the sidewalk all the way down here, and also all in this area too. So uh, this might take me a while, but we'll. S but it'll look really nice in the end, especially on a much larger scale. I think that'll be cool. And this area is, I'm going to have stuff, you know, here. I think I might put, like, a small building here. It's like a, kind of like a shipping registry. I don't know, like a building that takes in all the, the boats, excuse me, all the boats that come in. You know what I mean? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I also have buildings here. I didn't fill in this area yet because I'm thinking about kind of maybe doing like some ways for water to flow through and I want to start to make it more like this area now I'm thinking about this I maybe I may want to make move this over one more again but I think that might be too far maybe I might do a half of a plate that might that might be a way to do it or a half or a half base plate now that I'm looking at it but we'll see still gotta build some more first so I think I'm gonna start the water and detailing this before I 
actually start making any buildings down here. But uh, yeah, still gotta get some Duplo for there. Hopefully I can get some more soon. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I think that wall is fantastic. <laughs> the docks are looking pretty cool too. Once I put like some cargo, uh, use like uh, crate pieces, and I'll make some like mini cargo parts that make it look like you know they're getting shipments and stuff. And once I put those in here, then this thing really comes to life and it looks really cool. But like, yeah. So it's been a couple days, but I uh, made some pretty decent progress on the sidewalk and on the dock itself. So I actually just finished adding these containers to the dock area. Make it look like they're getting in shipments of stuff, whatever. I'm gonna, I am gonna I left some empty or empty ones open to uh, just you know, put some random stuff in to make it look, you know, getting stuff in. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah pretty cool. The sidewalk looks pretty good. I'm actually running out of pieces. Um, I mean, I have plenty of the uh, flat tiles, or the, the round one by one tiles, and, uh, and studs. I have a decent amount of those still, and, and uh, normal tiles. But I'm running out of jumpers, <laughs> so that's a problem. So what I did to, you know, kind of make some more pieces available to me, under these I just use plates to keep them, you know, Still, but I actually originally I had this all covered with like how I did everything else over here, but uh, and then I realized, well, I'm not gonna really be able to place these you know container pieces down the way I want them to, they're gonna be kind of be all mismatched, and some of them won't be able to be on there right because of the, the way how everything is. Some things are off by half studs and all that with jumper plates, so I went back and I just Tore up a bunch of pieces, that's kind of what I got there, that was the result of tearing them all up. And uh, I just put normal plates there and uh, stuck these on top, so you really wouldn't know the difference. But I uh, made some more pieces available to me so I can put down there, because this needs to go from where it is now all the way down to the end right there for the most part. And then, you know, some parts are going to extend out a little bit into like kind of alleyways where buildings are. These empty spaces are where I'm going to put some buildings. My idea for right here, um, don't remember if I already said this, but I'm going to put like the, uh, the main dock building where they come in like, oh yeah, you got the shipments, like writing down, accepting shipments, whatever. Kind of the main control center for the whole area. And then, uh, you know, more buildings here, some residential, some shops, and all that kind of extending down here. Uh, I had to figure out how I want to weave in the water here, especially over here, too. So, uh, I'm going to uh, actually have to start making buildings before I actually kind of determine how I want to do that. So, that's going to take a while to get to, but I at least know I want to have a sidewalk going all the way down there. So I'm kind of trying to keep it at a certain width through the, the whole way down. So some areas do end up being larger than others. Because I don't want to have buildings at angles. That's going to be weird to build on. And not how I want to. I don't want to make things too, too difficult and too unstable. I think building things at like a normal rectangular uh, or square style should be fine you know maybe some things will be at angles but not every building you know i'll just make things a little a little tricky i also got to put something behind the wall because you can see it's kind of it doesn't want to stay up against it because uh since i've been building up against it i've kind of been pushing it in unintentionally you can see uh the support under there i got to put something behind here that pushes it against it the whole time down there it's fine but down here nah it doesn't want to doesn't want to work in my favor. Typical, but oh well, I'll find a solution. Well, yeah, come along pretty great. Probably gonna start adding water in soon just to make it look nice for myself. Like, ooh, looks like something's coming along. But yeah, I'm gonna keep adding more sidewalk down there and uh, maybe start some buildings. I don't know. 
still not entirely sure how I want to, the order how I want to do things are I'm just gonna go but just kind of working with what I got at the moment but yeah the sidewalks look really good I really like the sidewalks Dock headquarters is complete. Yay! Round of applause. Slap my knee because one hand's got to hold the camera, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, I know I said I was. Pro I don't know what I said. It's been a couple days. You know, Thanksgiving just happened, and uh, my job. I work at a grocery store. It gets pretty busy around the holidays, so doing that. I'm also dealing with finals for college and all that. So whoopee! So that's why you know it's been a bit of a skip in time. That's why, and you know, even though I've been working on this as much as I can, it took me a while to, because I've been, you know, adjusting things. So, you know, at first I thought I was going to do the roof like this. Ended up changing it just to be a slope in one direction. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to do this trim with jumper plates. It's a little complicated because uh, I think it's 17 studs wide and 20, 24 long. So, um... With jumper plates, it can make it a little weird um, because everything's set, set off by half a stud, not like a full stud, so it makes things a little complicated. So this way is fine, the whole back side is fine, but when you get over to here, I actually had to use a little bit of a way to hide it. Uh, as you can see, it kind of has to cut off here, so I used this crate in the dock area just to kind of, you know, cover it up, per se. And it stops over here because, you know, that's where a building's going to be. So it has to stop here because, you know, you can't have the trim there with the building. It's not going to work. So it continues along onto this side, but it stops there and just a little short of where it really should be. But that's fine because that's a really hard area to see into. Most people aren't going to see that besides me. So I'm going to let it slide. Hopefully just once. But, uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. It came out pretty good. The windows are also set inwards, half a stud with jumper plates. It's pretty cool. Let's we'll see what I did on the inside to make that work. And uh, yeah, got some sticker pieces there, like a little keypad. And like the building name, whatever, for the company that runs it. Got a gutter with a drain. That's pretty cool. These one by two grill pieces on here to give it like kind of a shingling texture, I want to say. Or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. <laughs> Now you can take off the roof and you can see inside. I had a bunch of these uh, printed wood parts. So, uh, gave it a nice hardwood floor. Uh, this, the whole building floor is actually elevated because uh, the windows were a little high for minifigures to see out. So you can actually see my sig fig right there, or a signature figure. That's me and Lego. Uh, <laughs> you'll see him around the city. You've seen him in a couple videos already. But, uh, if it was just at the floor level to where this is, uh, the figures really couldn't see out the windows, and I was like, eh, makes it kind of high, because the building's pretty high, because the way, way I want to do it with the windows and the trim. So, um, thought, well, why not make the floor go up to the trim right here, and, uh, makes it kind of cool. Gives it a nice platform, thing. so you got the stairs that go up to the door and all that. Uh, so here I did with the windows, since you have the jumper plates to offset the windows in a bit, I used uh, more jumper plates or some some bricks to make them be on the side uh, to make drawers. I thought that's cool, and those drawers would hold maps, and you can see maps on the walls. The story is, I'm going to put some figures and furniture in here, but the story is, uh, you know, this docks, the, this headquarters is where, you know, boats are coming in with shipments to drop off in the shipping area. Uh, the people in here give the orders like, hey, here's where to go, here's how to get in and all that, and they have the maps to help them do that. So I put maps on the walls, and those drawers will hold maps. I'm going to put a table and some people, that's why the studs are there to, you know, keep them standing, and to place objects. I'm going to put a table in there and some people, and they will have more maps and stuff in there. Yeah. Pretty cool. like how it came out. Yeah, it's the first of many buildings that's going to be in the city.
another one. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Another building. And I did this within a day. It didn't take me like a couple of days like that one. Uh, had some time in my hands finally to do something. And uh, I made this building. So uh, nothing on the inside because uh, the roofs are hard to take off. So I didn't really want to go a lot with doing things on the inside. I did put like a ladder in there in case I actually do want to go back and do something. But uh, for now I didn't. Um, because the roofs are hard to take off. I use those types of hinges. They're like these smooth hinge pieces to connect the, uh, the roofs on because they're at a weird angle. So uh, it makes it hard to take it off. But you know, as you can, you might be able to see, there is room to add stuff if I do. But I don't think I will. I don't want to make, I don't have to make every building. Uh, you have access into <laughs> helps if I didn't drop it. <laughs> it's just usually a habit of mine. I always put detail on the inside of a building, but uh, yeah, so I think it's just gonna kind of be the shell. But I used some of the dark blue bricks I got from that Bricklink order I showed you guys, so uh, that's where it comes in handy. Uh, I didn't make it, didn't, if I didn't make that order, I probably wouldn't been have been able to do this building. And I really like the color scheme. Blue is one of my favorite colors, so that helps. And uh, the brown and dark blue and dark gray come out really nicely in contrast with the other building and the the ground. But uh, yeah, I really like the uh, the plants that like the plant uh, boxes on the outside. I think that came out good. But uh, yeah, come on nicely. The windows are the same as or the, the windows how I built them, same way that I built those. So nothing. Nothing really different there. Nothing really special. You can see how I did the. Uh, I don't know what we want to call that molding on the bottom. I don't know the stonework on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing too complex with this. But uh, but yeah, but just using simple pieces and nothing out of the ordinary uh, techniques. Nothing too complicated can make some uh, pretty cool results. Cause I mean, just just look at that. I mean, that's the. Uh, the roof. I think that came out pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to make a couple more buildings here. I might make a pathway here. I'm not sure if I want to do an 8 wide building. I don't know if I want to do another 16 wide. I think 8 wide might be too small. So maybe I'll make a 4 wide pathway here and then make this a 16. Or maybe I'll do a pathway on this side. Don't know yet. Still trying to figure it all out. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. Still going to add a building in that corner too right here. And that's gonna actually that has to be eight wide no matter what I think so I'll, maybe I'll practice on that one I can if I like it I'll do two more there so let's see let's keep going all right we're getting somewhere yeah added a couple more buildings here to nothing too special the white one is hollow on the inside there's absolutely nothing in there this one's just a little shack with like some containers in there. I'll probably put some stuff in the containers to, you know, give it some life in there. This is actually the transition building. It's actually going to be a building in this style. So uh, it should be interesting. I'm probably going to make it like kind of stagger. Like this side is going to be a little shorter. This side will be a little higher. So it kind of like goes up. So it kind of meets up to here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to use these arches to like kind of start to arch over to here. I don't have any more of these type of arches. Because um, I used them to do the subway. But uh, yeah, should be should be interesting. Uh, this building is probably going to be hollow on the inside too. Maybe I'll put a little something here. Because uh, I'm going to have like support beams here to connect uh, this wall to the other side. So it's stronger when holding it up because this is actually only eight, uh, eight bricks wide or eight studs wide, sorry. <laughs> to, so it's not going to be that strong and it needs to be able to support an overhang a little bit. But uh, yeah. So back here there's going to be really nothing. Uh, I'll probably, I'm going to, on this section I'll make it so it meets up with this like sidewalk here. I'll probably make a pathway here and like a staircase in the back here. So it could so you could get up to like the second floor. So uh, yeah, that's the plan so far. Oh, bridge came out cool. I'm not sure, too sure if I like this. I might go back and change it, but I don't know what yet. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see. I'm gonna continue the sidewalk detailing up to here and kind of make it start to fade away a bit because 
uh, these uh, city sets don't have the sidewalk like I do. So I'll kind of make it like transition. And yeah, the bridge is cool. I did add a little bit of the water, especially I had to add it in here first before I started building on top or else uh, I would not have been able to get in there later. But you can see I did add the drains in there too. A little bit of life in there. Another, bit, another drain there too. But then, yeah, it's coming along nicely. It looks pretty cool. I want to add some figures just to have some fun, you know. Keep me company while building, you know. <laughs> Whoa there! Whoa there! I made some progress! <laughs> Look at that! That's cool. I used up all my dark green one by bricks. Even the ones I made in that brick link order a while back. All in this building, I didn't even have enough. I had to use a couple of the one by plates, but not that much. And it's in the back, so you won't really, you won't really tell. But uh, yeah, I made another building, and I finished uh, the bottom floor too. Uh, yeah, I think I think I, I still need to go back and change that. I'm not really liking that, uh, the, the railing right here. I really need, do need to change that. But I uh, added some detailing to the wall there. I added some vines coming down. thought that was a cool look. And a little statue on the corner there. That's cool. Well, yeah, first building up here is complete. Oh, nothing special. Uh, roof can come off on this one. And you can angle it in there. Oh, I'm getting the hiccups. <laughs> well, yeah, you can see some of the flooring in there. And I'm not going to do it because it's a little hard, but you can kind of see what I'm going here. This is just loosely sitting in there, just kind of held in with um, like a little shelving in there. But there is a bottom floor that you can get into. Kind of hard to see with the lighting. Let me turn on my phone flashlight. Maybe that'll help. Oh uh, yeah, you can kind of see in there now. Well, there's nothing in there yet. Just a empty building at the moment. But uh, you can get in there. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. But it is probably going to be like a store. It's got like an open sign on that window. So uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Now a little awning going with the ingot uh, tiles there. So that's cool. I did more of that trimming too that I did on this building. The uh, dock headquarters. <laughs> I almost forgot the name for a second there. I only did it on the front and the back. Because the side this is going to be an alleyway to get to a staircase that goes down to the... The bottom floor that's how you get up to this part of it but uh yeah and, and obviously i didn't do it on this side because this is where the two buildings meet but, uh, yeah i think that's pretty good hopefully it makes a nice transition but uh yeah and i did uh added some sticker uh added these fences like how they are in the set i added some pieces with stickers and this is like the end of the walkway, so that's why I got like the caution tape. I'm going to add another building here. Probably have it like extend over to cover the arch, uh, the walkway. Probably do something like that. Uh, yeah. Come on, light me this section. Oh, and this uh, whole floor does come off. You can... If I do end up... I'm not going to put anything inside because you got like the... Kind of a bump up from the bridge there. But I did add some tiles, so... When you look into the side here, or inside the, uh, just got, so it looks smooth, you don't see the studs in there. And yeah, coming along nicely, we're getting somewhere. This building, or this whole section, is complete. I got a whole bunch of buildings now. This is awesome. So, I, I might go back and make a couple changes so it's not technically complete. Like, still need to fix that railing. And uh, I, I gotta figure out what to put on top of here. And then I also gotta add a little bit of detail on the inside. Nothing too major, but maybe something. Because what I was thinking uh, last night, um, the only buildings I'm gonna make where I can take the roofs off to do something on the inside or see on the inside are going to be the only ones that I can reach because I can't reach into the middle over here easily especially if I'm at brick fair or displaying this and showing this to people so I'm thinking so here's where I can basically stand and reach so I'm only going to make it to buildings I can reach so maybe I'll do a couple maybe one or two buildings over here that have something on the inside 
for everything in the middle area and up to where I can reach from that side of the table like to that side of the table I'll be able to reach over and open up stuff but everything in the middle here and probably in this section too it'll just be like shells of building with no details on the inside it'll just be really detailed frames or shells of building but with nothing on the inside so that's, the, that's the plan what I'm thinking of right now it's gonna save me time and pieces instead of going out with, all out with all buildings and like some buildings I didn't do things on the inside like this one right here and that one there because you know they're, they're, they're really small there's really nothing to do with them it's just kind of there so I'm not gonna I don't want to do something for every building that's gonna take way too long and like some like especially this building you really can't see unless you're like kind of really kind of looking around the corner and it's just a sign and a door there you know that's nothing special the, the roof can't even, can't even come off so and that's what I was thinking so but yeah this building the roof can come off it'll probably just be like someone's apartment or just a little house for someone but uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to figure out what to add in there. But I made a clothesline. I thought that was cool. And got a little like graffiti piece there. Oh, clothesline. Got the air condition unit. Oh, and I also went back and I added this billboard because I was looking at this building just by itself next to the city set. I was thinking it kind of looks like it's missing something. It needs something. I don't know what. And I remembered I wanted to take this piece off of the Monkey King uh, ship set. I wanted to pull it off over there. I wanted to actually take that set apart and take out all the print, uh, sticker pieces in it and use it for like shipping containers for boats and stuff for the docks. And I remembered I wanted to put this near the docks. And so, this was the perfect place. Because it makes it kind of, makes it kind of fit nice to here. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It looks nice. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this section is pretty much complete. So the docks are kind of finished, I guess, almost in a way, which is kind of cool. Now that it's actually not kind of cool, it's pretty cool. The docks are complete. Uh, there's a mess. I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to work on the water a bit, do something else. Cause I'm probably going to have, I also got to figure out um, how I'm going to arrange the waterways because the water is going to come all the way through here. So maybe I'll have like another bridge over here. I gotta make a stairway that goes from here down to over here. You can see my fingers down to here, and then down to the ground floor area where it's gonna meet up to here, kind of. So I gotta figure out how to do those stairs, but uh, we'll see. We're gonna we, we're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll figure it out. It's gotta give me some time, but yeah. Another building is complete, and you know the city is looking more like a city. And I'm really happy with it. I think it's coming out pretty, pretty cool. All right, we're back. You know, it's, it's been a minute, but uh, yeah, this is a different view than what you're used to seeing, probably. But uh, this is the backside of everything that we've seen so far. And uh, because I'm starting to work on this area here, and you can see I laid out some more base work here. Got a lot of water flowing through now, which is coming out pretty cool. I do say so myself, but uh, yeah, you can see that little tan hole in the water there. There's going to be a bridge there that connects over to that island right there, and that island you're going to have stairs that lead up to the floor there, and the roof on that little red building there, and also so people or the minifigures can access that elevator that goes up and down in the city set. So you have an elevator and stairs you can access there, so that would be cool. So there will be pathways running throughout here. That's the plan so far, with also some buildings, you know, thrown throughout each section. And I'm going to have, like, this little island here, and I'm planning on making it, like, a tree-slash-shrine area. That's kind of been, like, grow that's been, that was starting to grow there as they were building the city, so they made it, like, a little shrine area. And, uh, you know, they made a dedicated spot to it, I guess? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'll give any more detailed story than that but uh yeah and i've also done some a little bit like adding green and also tan under the or dark tan under the water to do like they did in the city sets over here um you can probably see that or i don't know if you can but uh, they did that in the city sets so i'm starting to do that in certain areas over here so it resembles a lower uh water level then like the black areas are a little deeper but uh yeah it'll be cool I'll probably make like uh so it's gonna keep coming down this way 
Uh, there'll be some. I'll probably make it come out a little bit more here. Maybe some smaller streams coming in here. But it's all kind of going to start to like close in as you get to here, where it's going to just be one base plate wide over here. It's going to like stop over here in this area probably. I might. It's not going to be. This area isn't going to be too big because this is more like the older city. But they started to make the new city, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have a bridge here. That's what th these are just kind of a little uh, indication where I want to build the bridge, and I want to use these arches in the bridge too. So, yeah, and then you start to get to the landscaping with all the more greenery and the old village I want to do and the mountain over here. So, yeah, it's gonna still have a lot more to do in this area. It's a mess with all the pieces I have over there, but yeah, we're getting somewhere slowly but surely. All right, it's been a couple of days, <laughs> but uh, I did all the sidewalks and I've added more bases. But yeah, all the sidewalks definitely complete now. I don't have to do any more. At least I don't think I do unless I uh, once I start putting in buildings. I you know, oh maybe I'll add like a small one here, but for now it's pretty much done. But, uh, yeah, looks pretty good. I do have, might have to add a little bit more onto that one right there. My finger is. Because uh, that's where the stairs are going to be, so maybe I have to add some more around the stairs, but it's pretty much done. So you got the bridge over there, go 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 to the stairs there, and the elevator. You can walk around these buildings, go to that shrine area, walk around over here to these stairs. I added, I took them apart while I was building, but there's a little staircase there now. Got a bridge here, goes over to here. And that's where I'm going to put the Ninjago City Garden. Now they haven't revealed it yet, so I don't know exactly what it looks like, but I'm hoping it's one base plate. If not, well, I might have to rearrange some things. But I was doing some thinking, and I realized I can already make a spot for it, because no matter... Because the way I was thinking, I was worried that I would not be able to fit it in until I actually saw the pictures of it. But then I realized, wait, you know, if this is a continuation to these two sets, it's going to have to be built to line up with either side of the dock set or either side of the city set. And they're all the same measurements on either side, like with the sidewalks and the, uh, the second floor there. So uh, no matter where I put it on either side, it's going to have to line up anyways. So I was like, oh. I, I already got this figured out. I don't have to worry so much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I'm going to have it there and hopefully it will be able to continue on down here. And I'll make more in that style. And I'm thinking I might redo the top of that building and maybe a bit of the bottom. Um, I don't know about the bottom, but I'm definitely going to redo the top so it looks more in line with the city set. Because if you look at it from here, from a distance and up close, you can kind of, it's more noticeable on the back side on this side of the city than the other side that I noticed when I was working over here was on all the sidewalks and stuff um it just doesn't look right you know I see it kind of just you can see that like the city set is more layered and this is just kind of big stops and it just it's just like too abrupt of a stop in my eyes I don't know if any of you guys can see it like I do but to me, it just feels like it's an abrupt stop to like kind of how it how I want it to transition. It's it needs to be more of a fluid transition. Like you can see, like how the city and the docks are. Um, like on the actual sets, these two, you don't notice a transition really. It's, it's made to look like it's supposed to go together. So I gotta figure out a way to do that. On my building, on my continuation here. So I gotta come up with a better way to do it. So I'm probably gonna end up taking apart uh, the, these two buildings here, or maybe that, but just the green one, um, and redoing it. Make it more like a corner building, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. But I wanna keep those buildings there. I really like how those are. But uh, yeah. So there's gonna be buildings on here, and it's gonna be pretty. But uh, yeah, I <laughs> took me a while to get this done. Uh, had finals, finished finals, thank God. I'm done with this first semester of my sophomore year. Now I'm moving on to my second semester in January. So I got like a, some more time to build between work and all that. But yeah, 
And now it's almost January 1st, and January 1st, that means new sets. I'm going to get the new modular building when it comes out, and the new Ninjago sets. Not all of them are coming out this uh, this January 1st, which is a little different, but, you know, at least we're getting something, not nothing. It's just the legacy sets for the 10th anniversary. We're not getting the, uh, the cool, like, Islander uh, sub-theme that we're getting this year. We're not getting, I don't think we're getting that until March, but we'll see. I don't know. They haven't really said it yet. But yeah, I'll definitely getting the legacy sets on January 1st. Been a couple days, but I've done, I redid this building. Yeah, it's like completely, the top is like completely different now. I like basically cut it off and added something new on top and just made it look like it belongs next to the set, you know? So I still want to go back, I keep forgetting, I want to go back and I want to redo this railing. I just keep forgetting. But, let's start from the bottom here. So uh, I basically cut this bottom half in half. <laughs> and I added this, you know, traditional white, uh, white and brown building style that you see on the city sets over here. So I basically did the same thing over here. You know, nothing, nothing too special. And then this I already had before, I just made that smaller. Yeah. And then up the uh, up to the next level, uh, I kept the base the same. I just and I kept the building the same too. Just the the building I had here, the dark green one. I basically just you know cut the whole top area off and uh, left the bottom half and added another building on top. It's a cool roof design that kind of is like this, but uh, much bigger. And I still kept the billboard on top. I added like some flag pieces I had hanging off there. I thought that was cool. But yeah, I feel like it much. It looks much better now. It definitely looks like it belongs more here. But yeah, that's much better. And then in the back, I'm gonna climb over the 50 million pieces I have lying all over the floor there from building. But look here in the back. That I feel like that looks a little better now. Um. The back's going to change a lot more. I didn't even put the door in the building yet. But the back's going to change up a lot because I'm going to have a staircase that goes from there to the second floor and to the ground floor. So that's going to change. So that's going to give more life into the back so that will make it look more lively, more better. So that's that's the plan there. So that's why it looks kind of boring now. But once I get the stairs in there, I feel like it will be uh, much, much better, more lively. So that's that's the goal there, but uh, yeah, it's coming together nicely. We're getting somewhere, so I'm I'm happy that I redid that. I feel like it looks much better now. So yeah, and it also it, it, the way it ends off, like it just kind of curves off on the top there. It gives it a more transitional feel to go into that. Cause I'm also I'm thinking about well, I'm also gonna have it continue down here with that style of building down to here. I'm also maybe gonna do like this and that area maybe I can also do it like that but on like a little maybe a little bit of a smaller scale and I can have like a bridge connecting like from on from over to this one then over to that one I think that's something I could do that should be interesting because I want to keep it like this style I really do like it it's just it's kind of hard to do the way the designers have it because it's a lot of more I don't know the detailing is just something I'm not exactly used to like on a set, it's just, it's weird for me. But I, I'm gonna figure it out, don't worry. But uh, yeah, it's gonna continue all the way around there. And then also up here, it's gonna be more modern style building, but you know, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's coming later. That's, that's, a, that's another, that's a story for another day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's coming together. And I mean, these, and these, these also don't have to be detailed on the inside, so I'm not gonna be able to reach these buildings. Um, they're gonna be more like, shells, skeleton buildings, just to look nice. Yeah, I'll probably do a couple more in that style, around like the edges here. Like in that square, and like over there, just behind there. But yeah, nothing nothing too crazy. No, well, I don't know exactly yet, but we'll, I see, we'll see. I know I'm saying a lot. It's gonna be a mix of things. I, gotta, I, gotta, I probably should like sketch things out. That's probably a good idea. That's always a good idea. Sketch out how you want to do things. You know, you can always have like a Jumping off point and know where you're going, I guess. But I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling, I guess. All right.
Alright guys, we're back at December 29th. It's been like a week since I filmed the last part, and you know, happy holidays, you know, Christmas happened, it's almost New Year's. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I, it's been a busy time, finished school, uh, done all my finals, work, uh, since I work at a grocery store, work was busy, but busyness is over for the most part, so had some time to focus on building, but I've come to a place where I actually need to stop building. <laughs> so I actually gave myself a deadline till the end of the year uh, to work on building because uh, once after New Year's hits, I am actually, I was actually going to get back into sorting, finish my sorting and uh, clean up my collection because I will be moving over the summer of 2021. So I need to have my collection ready to transport. So it's uh, just easy to transport everything. The minute I get set up in my new location, I can just get right back into building. I don't have to worry about finding anything. Everything will be sorted. So it's not that much sorting. So once I finish sorting, I'll probably have a little bit of time to build, but I'm not going to do anything major. But uh, right now, I've actually come to a problem where I actually really can't continue what I want to do because uh, something came out, which I will guys show you. It's the first image of Ninjago City Gardens. So the set is real. The camera will focus on my phone. That'd be great. The set is real. Uh, I know earlier I said in earlier parts that we weren't really sure if it was real or not still, but we have pictures, and so it says up in the corners, VIP early access starting January 14th. This is actually a picture of the uh, Canadian Lego catalog, but it should be the same for the U.S. where I live. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a corner building, so I wasn't anticipating on this building being a corner uh, building. I was hoping it was going to be more of a straight building like the... Uh, like the dock set, but it isn't. So the problem being is, I really like if the camera would focus. There we go. The problem being is, if it's a corner, I can't only place it in you know certain because I want to have it next to the sets that already exist. So I have to figure out how to, I want to connect it. But also, I looked up. I can see the measurements of the set here. So based off of these measurements, I can tell it's a base plate and a half. So it's that big right there so that makes it like another issue of fitting it in with the, I already started building with the bases back there and so it's like a weird thing too because you can kind of see it in this photo this like a little red temple thing on the side is kind of cut off in the picture uh, that's what's making another half base plate and I'm hoping this thing is actually like a detachable thing that you can put on either side like an attachment that can move on either side because uh, it kind of makes it hard because I want to keep like the sides covered up. Because you can see on the sides of this building or the set. No, it's the you don't want to have that showing. And it's the same on the docks. You know, you have the sides you don't want to show. So I have to figure out a way to get the the garden set to you know align well enough to like you don't have the sides the sides showing as much. You know, you get what I mean? Just you want to make it look like a clean cut. So, it kind of, with this this being a corner and how it's uh, lined up, don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic set. And I will find a way to incorporate it. It's just, uh, the way it is, as much as I like it, it really does mess up my plans. Because I have to figure out a way to incorporate it in here now. And I'm going to have to redo what I already have. And I'm probably going to have to redo a lot. I'm going to keep this part for sure. I really love how this part is coming out. Which I'll go over a bit in a sec. But this building which here. Which I've already redone once. I'm probably going to restart this whole thing. Because you know, looking at the set. And what we already have. I feel like me personally. This isn't exactly how I envisioned this being. I want it to be more, with, more in line with the set. More colorful more lively. This just kind of seemed more dull and dark compared to what we already, what we're getting, what we already have. So I gotta, that's more of a thing I gotta rework. But, uh, that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with redoing things. It's just, you know, a bit of a pain, but that's part of the process. You know, and I, and I want to show this because, you know, things happen, like this set coming out. And while they can be good things, you know, it does cause things. You're going to have to rework things. you got to figure out how you want to connect everything. And so that's, you know, that's another challenge, another hurdle i got to come across. But this set is fantastic. This set is amazing. I love it. And uh, there's so much in this set that's really cool. 
like the, the whole gardens aspect is phenomenal and all the colors. And I'm thinking, I, I was looking at the, uh, my colors over here and my sorted pieces. I have some colors I could use to make some interesting buildings. I just gotta figure out, you know, I gotta just work on my building techniques better. I just gotta improve my skill, which is something that, you know, I, I gotta do. At some point, might as well make it now. But yeah, this just the whole problem is just being a corner. And so the pictures that we have right now, these aren't the actual official pictures we get that we see on the LEGO website. These are just based off of the catalog that someone took a picture of. So I really can't tell with these pictures. It's like the sidewalk ends where that little temple begins. Because even where, like with the sidewalk ending or not ending, that can be another completely different hurdle I'm going to have to come across. Because that will have to... That will depend, figure out where, that will be a factor in where I figure out where I want to connect it. Because do I want to connect it on this side? Do I want to move the docks to over here and connect the set over there, like the gardens over there? Do I want to rotate this whole thing, get rid of this, rework the ending of this? You know, I ha I'll have to, I, I really just have to wait to get the docks, or the, I mean, not the docks, sorry. I have to wait until I get the garden set to figure out what I want to do. So I'm kind of at a at a stopping point here for now, which is fine, you know, I, <laughs> you can see I got a lot of parts. I was cleaning up earlier, I had, this whole area was filled with stuff. Uh, so, and that over there is still pretty bad, but, uh, I gotta take a moment, I gotta clean up, I'm gonna sort, I'm gonna get more ideas on how I wanna do things. But, uh, yeah, so it's just, it's at a stopping point right now, which, you know, st stinks, but, you know, oh well, things happen, you just gotta, push through it, but uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, really, but uh, yeah, let's take a quick moment, and go over here, and look what I've done, and started adding the buildings back here, so it's nothing, nothing too exciting, but we're getting somewhere, I, I like how I did this roof here, uh, with this building, this brown building, I think I might angle it, like, slightly, um, but yeah, it's cool, I use, like, the Technic, uh, pieces that, like, the little round, like piping pieces, so that's cool. Just use Technic Pink to connect them. So it's a cool little little build. I like this building here with the, the dark red and the, the sloped roof with the solar panel on top, and I put one of the string pieces under the solar panel. Make it look like a wire going in there. Got the plant hanging off on the side. Now this building will be really cool. Isn't this gonna be like a tan building with the nice windows? And also got a little roof over here too. It's the same pieces used on the roof on that building right there in this in the uh original city set. Like Lloyd's apartment. Those like technic pieces. So I gotta I gotta find a couple more, but I probably I, I'm sure I do have them more. They're just in the bin of unsorted black pieces I have. But uh, I'll I'll find them. They're in there. Just gotta just gotta get to them. But yeah, this is this is really cool. So it'll fit on here nicely. Once I finish the building, yeah, I could actually have to stop working on this building. Actually, I'm gonna re have to reconfigure it, and I'm breaking things. I'm gonna have to reconfigure it because I don't know if I'll have uh, this section like I had right here, over there, based off on how, again, the gardens will be. But yeah, but I really like this view right here. That's pretty cool. It's just this nice view. I mean, look at that. That's that's really cool. I really like how this is coming out, this view right here. And that's why I want to keep this for sure. And so that's why I'm up to getting rid of this to keep this to figure out how the gardens are gonna fit in. So but yeah, you know, it's just gonna have to end episode I think this is episode three. End episode three here for now and we'll come back at a later date and uh just see where how the gardens we're going to fit into this, so, but yeah, so it's just taking time, and I'm going to try to improve my building skills so I can get my, because I'm really good, I'm really satisfied with how I do traditional city buildings, I'm just having a problem trying to recreate the style of these, of the sets, but uh, hopefully once I get the gardens I can figure out how to recreate that style. But, uh, yeah, I feel like with these buildings, the buildings I've been making so far, these are fine. These are supposed to look more like traditional buildings. These aren't, and that's what the problem I'm feeling is. I I feel like these look too too traditional to me. Not the over-the-top colorful style 
in traditional style on the bottom, like old-fashioned style, that these sets are just showing off. So it's more like I gotta rework myself and my skills. But uh, yeah, you know, we're getting somewhere. It's gonna, gonna come out good. There you go. But like once I get over here into building like the giant skyscrapers and like the high school and all these other crazy huge buildings, like the apartments I wanna do, those are gonna be really easy for me to do because I've done those buildings with my traditional you know, modular city buildings when I used to have a normal city that was all modular style. So, but yeah, so this is going to be it for episode three, I guess. So sorry for the abrupt ending to the episode, but uh, yeah, this, the gardens, as much as, even though it's such a fantastic looking set, is throwing such a curveball my way where I didn't need to stop working, wait for it to come out, and I'm going to have to rework things around it. Then you're thinking, probably, you're probably thinking, why don't you just not include the gardens or any of the other sets in here? And I'll tell you why. I have to include these sets because that's what this whole project was inspired by. Uh, the first city set in 2017 and the docks and now the gardens. All the, these three sets that connect together to make this, you know, little portion of this ginormous city that you see in the show and in the movie. Um, it's what inspired this whole project and I want to honor those sets and the designers of those sets by you know continuing the vision of the city so you know he, he just I want to include those sets because that's what I'm trying to do here I guess just I'm, I'm honoring these sets and expanding upon them so plus it makes it easier for me it's less thing for me to build and you know it gives me a place to put the sets but uh they're cool. They're, they're really fantastic sets. They're some of my favorite sets that LEGO has made. So I want to include them in here because this is where they belong and I want to keep expanding upon it. So I, I will figure out a way to rework what I have already planned and what I've started. You know, maybe take apart that building I already did and rework parts of it into this new version of the lower part of the city. Um, to fit with the gardens, and you know that's a problem. You know it's a little bump in the road, but nothing's happened when you're building a giant build like this. You know it may not just be a set with your uh, if you were doing a build, it may not be a set for you, but it could be something else. It could be like oh, you know I can't get my hands on these pieces. Oh, I feel like this part isn't really working what to what I envisioned it to be. So you know, sometimes you just gotta take a moment and replan and rethink what you have. You know, like a lot of the times when I'm doing these things. Half the stuff that I originally planned uh, isn't in it or is reworked into something else. So, you know, things happen, but, you know. And, you know, this, especially this time of year with the holidays and, you know, work and school finishing up. Um, it's, you know, so a hard time for me to make too too much progress or more progress I want to make. But, uh, yeah, so even though I, I've only gotten the wall, most of the groundwork and some buildings started, um, to me it doesn't feel like a lot. It may look like some things are done, but to me it doesn't feel like too much has been done, but we're getting there. Once I get the garden set, I can really start moving around uh, stuff and really keep working. But uh, And then also i got to start sorting so I can be ready to move and just have more access to parts. And I'll have to clean up around here. I'm sitting around pieces <laughs> from the mess I made from building. And that happens, and I just got to take a moment to clean and clean everything up, regather my thoughts, and we'll go from there. So, you know, thank you for sticking around and watching this video. Episode 4 won't be for a while. I know I said that about this episode. That won't be for a while, but I was able to make some progress. But episode 4 definitely won't be for a while because i got to wait till January 14th for the gardens. And, you know, that's all right. I don't mind taking a little break and gathering my thoughts. It'd be a nice break and build some of the sets I got for Christmas. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with, who, with whoever you think might like it. It could be a random guy you see on the street and say, Hey, I think you might like this cool Lego video. Or it could be your friend from school, friend from work, and say, Hey, look at this uh, dude doing something. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to see other stuff in Ninjago City I do with Lego. I do other things with Lego. You know, it's cool. But uh, yeah, so thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, and have a happy new year.